Okay, welcome back. Today we're tying a little peacock euro nip. This hook I have in the vise is a little barbless jig hook, size 16 by Risen Fly Fishing. What's that? 9230 is the uh, item number. And the bead is a tungsten bead, 2.5 millimeter slotted. Keep these in a little container that uh, comes with a bigger container. You can stack these all in. And I'm going to add a little additional weight to it. 010 lead weight, about uh, four wraps, maybe five. This is optional. Just I want these a little bit heavier. One, two, three, four. Spin that on there. And now you got about five or six wraps. The little butt section you spun on there. Make sure the bead is all the way down against the eye of the hook. Place your lead up against it. The thread we're going to use is Danville 7 8 and ear. Color is optional. Now you tie these up in pink. Basically, whatever color you want. Hot spot. So I've got a, like a medium green here. I use a real bright green also. Take your thread up against. The back of the lead, pushing it forward up against the bead. Get a few wraps, take that tag end and cut it away. Give it a few wraps up to the top of the bend of the hook. First we're going to add some copper wire. Copper wire I have is from an old electrical motor that I disassembled. Got this from an old printer that I disposed of. Took the motors out first. Take the copper wire, which is really ultra thin wire. Tie it in. Give it a few wraps. Take it all the way back to top of the bend of the hook. Now we're going to add some peacock swords. Peacock swords. They use quite often are these good top sections that I would use for zug bugs or even small streamers but those aren't the ones I'm going to use. I'm going to use the ones that typically see I've used all these ones on the top up the ones that are longer on the bottom I'm going to take three of them maybe three pull them off cut away the curly cues butt sections there that you don't need Make sure they're all the same length. And just take the little tips. You're going to make it about a quarter length of the shank of the hook. So just take the tips, place them right on top, right over top of the bend of the hook. Grasp them. Give it a wrap, a couple of wraps back. I like to pull the tips toward me just a little bit as I do this. That way everything ends up on top. Take your peacock swords, jump your thread in front of it. Take it right to the very front of the fly. Now you're going to take these swords, hold them together, spin them up. Take some hackle pliers. Grasp the very tips of the butt section here. I'm going to give them a couple more spins. You'll find that these swords are pretty tough. Much tougher than regular peacock hurl. Now you have them spun up there. Take your first wrap. Jump it backwards a little bit. Cover up that thread. Wrap forward. Don't hit the point of the hook like I just did or you'll be sorry. Wrap it forward all the way to the front of the fly. Right in behind. Oh, let's undo that just a little bit. Getting a little crazy there. Get that thread up out of the way there. 
you want to make little larger hot spots I uh, really wouldn't have mattered but so uh, keep it neat though if you can take your thread give it a couple of turns here like three turns cut away your excess give it one more wrap or two maybe now you're going to counter wrap see I wrap this way so I want to go this way go about four one keeping everything as even as I can two three four here we go like a half more give it a couple turns of the thread now I'm gonna wrap the thread around and then I'm going to do a counter turn backwards, wrap it around the copper wire again one more time, turn it forward, that way everything is secure, helicopter it off, maybe, take your thread, give it a couple more turns in there. I'm going to spin that thread up a little bit. There you go. Put up just a little bit of a hot spot. About like that. Now you can take your Sally Hansen's or whatever uh, cement or super glue or whatever you need to secure it with. This is a brand new bottle of Sally Hansen. They didn't have the regular stuff at the store so I grabbed an advanced. It's only four bucks and I had a 40% coupon for it at CVS. Couple of wraps. Take your whip finish tool. Give it about three turns. One, two, three. Pull it tight. Cut it away. And there you go. Got yourself a tiny, tiny little tail. One piece of peacock sword. And you're done. How do you like that? That peacock sword stem is real tough, so you don't let the super glue to hold it together. It'll it'll stay there. Alright, hope you like these videos. If you do, click subscribe, click a like. Appreciate all the new subscribers that I uh, really haven't earned because I haven't made a video in a few weeks and I got a bunch of subscribers. So I really appreciate you. And uh, stay tuned for more. Let me know how you're doing when you use these flies, when you tie them up. This is a simple one. Anybody can tie it. I buy these peacock swords in bulk, about 50 at a time. So I have a lot of them. I use a lot of them. Fish love them. I love them. And you'll love them too. Alright, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time. And hopefully I'll get a few more out to you shortly.